So welcome to the scientific program committee of the Next Science Science Forum. We're here in Cape Town, South Africa, and we're here with the scientific program committee that's gathered to do two things. One, to provide scientific leadership for the global gathering that's happening next year, as well as uh, for selection of the NEF fellows that is happening. So we're here with our primary donors or supporters, uh, the Robert Bosch Foundation. We're here with uh, three of their senior leadership. We're here with their CEOs. Uh, Uta Mikaela Durig, and we're also here with Joachim Rogel, as well as their senior VP, um, Ingrid Vening Trol. And uh, they're here to talk about some of their involvement with the Next Science Science Forum, and obviously to give uh, an update of what's been happening with the Scientific Program Committee. So, welcome to you all. To, to jump right in, there's a lot that's happening, a lot of with your involvement, uh, and the question becomes, why is something like the NEF important? Why, why is it important for Africa? Why is it important for the world? There are three main points. And the first point is Africa has highly educated people, but no network for young scientists. Secondly, the network, or via a network, we could um, better face all these huge challenges in Africa. And the third important aspect could be that the fundamental problems of the world need African experience, creativity and knowledge in order to develop um, the best local solutions and worldwide solutions. Okay, so Mr. Robo, can you tell me, uh, in terms of your own personal involvement, why does the Robert Bosch Foundation support something like the Next Einstein Time Forum? Obviously, you're very involved in other initiatives in Africa. You've been a supporter of Africa and Africa, science in Africa for quite some time. Can you please tell us why, personally, the Robert Bosch Foundation is committed to something like the Next Einstein Time Forum? We deeply believe in the human capital of Africa. And um, we think the best way to develop it is um, building on homegrown solutions like uh, this one. And uh, the Bosch Foundation um, has a lot of experience in helping transformation countries in Central Eastern Europe. And I think we can share these experiences, we can build bridges, we can make these experiences uh, valuable for uh, Africa. So uh, give uh, this continent uh, the future it needs. Obviously, uh, Ingrid, you've been involved uh, a lot more and personally of what's been going on. and. Can you tell me in detail how the Robert Bosch Foundation is supporting the Next Science Science Forum? And of course, we have provided NEF with a substantial amount of money in a very, very early stage, so I would almost like to call it venture capital. Um, but not only that, we are providing them with a huge network that we have established in Europe. We brought on to the program committee some very prominent members, just like Jean-Pierre Bourguignon or Philip Campbell and Klaus Töpfer and Peter Tindemans. Um, we are also providing them with the knowledge of science management because that is what we have 25 years of experience of. Um, we provide them with a lot of advice on a personal basis, so basically I meet the team every month and we talk about it, how we do that, at least the Berlin team. So I think it's more than just money that we provide it with. Uh, obviously th this forum is going to be different and uh, based on what you've been seeing with the Scientific Program Committee, can you tell us, uh, just in general, how your, your opinion of it on the current status of the Scientific Program, Program Committee meeting and what is the outcome for you? I think we're, we're in, in good time, but I think we have to continue. We shouldn't rest because that will happen very quickly. It's a, a roughly a year. And for such a conference, which is very ambitious, we want to have prominent speakers, including Nobel laureates and politicians and other VIPs. I think it's about time that we invite them. I'm very happy that we're ready to, because we have the names on the table. But I think we should just really keep on going. Uh, at breakfast, you uh, had a very good picture of this whole uh, um, uh, thing. Um, if we uh, regard this uh, NEF uh, forum as a big um, and a great dinner next year, we are just uh, fixing the receipt and looking for the best possible uh, uh, ingredients. We are going with the basket of the market, selecting the best uh, uh, ingredients for this. Uh, so this is, uh, I think, which uh, uh, would be the best picture. Of it. And the two days meeting were very inspiring uh, with plenty of ideas. So we will be very successful in future. 
And just in general, uh, as, as we close this interview very quickly, can you tell me, obviously you've been involved in uh, Eastern Europe for quite some time, you have experience in science management and you have been supporting initiatives in Africa. I want to ask in general, what is your opinion on how this uh, forum will be different? You've been involved in neuroscience. Uh, uh, can you give us your impressions on what will be different about this conference? I think, um, first of all, it's going to be a conference on the African continent. That, of course, is already a unique selling point by itself um, because we do need the Africans on the international uh, map of science. Um, it will be a much younger looking one and the human point of view is very much included, much more than in any other conference. This was lacking maybe this morning a little bit in the program committee, but I think everybody had that in the back of their minds. Hopefully it will be better than the um, promise uh, because uh, we learn from uh, the experiences we have made in Europe and in the States. So uh, it should be really uh, the benchmark for the future.